Good morning. Welcome to my cave. <laughs> So, what does cave living mean to you? Well, for me, uh, living in a cave means breaking all the living structures that we have. Um, we are really used to pay high rents for tiny apartments in uh, crowded cities that actually uh, don't improve our lifestyles. Uh, we are really everything, synthetic materials and paintings uh, without noticing. Um, living in a cave is more connecting with nature, uh, breathing fresh air and hearing noises, natural noises that don't bring us uh, stress or any other bad feeling. Here in my cave I can sleep really deeply and I wake up every morning with a good feeling. Um, I don't think that living in a cave is living in poor conditions, it's just adapting the building to the environment. For example, it's natural and the volunteers just made some walls, wooden walls and a door and this is perfectly a place for living and for me it's a palace. <laughs> cave living mean to you? To live in a cave means for me um, to be grounded, um, to live in the middle of the nature and I don't miss the luxury of having electricity or toilet in my cave because the toilet is not far and candles are much more cozy. What's your favorite part of your cave house? The favorite part of my cave house is that you wake up in the morning, you look out of the window, you see the goats in front of your window, and behind that you see the sea and the rising sun. It's beautiful. You step out of the door and you will see the horses. Uh, it's right in the middle of everything, um, so this is a really nice place to live in. Hola, welcome to my cave. <laughs> How do you feel about living in a cave? Um, yeah, I think it's not a cave here, it's a little bit house and a little bit cave. And yeah, it's a good good mix. <laughs> yeah, and I have here um, this feeling I can sleep outside, but I have a roof and it's great. I sleep wonderful here. <laughs> Hola, 
Hola. Welcome. <laughs> Mi cueva. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. So, Will, what does cave living mean to you? Uh, mostly freedom, I think. The freedom I feel living like this is kind of quite something. Yeah, no bills to pay. Kind of don't feel like I have to play the man's game anymore by working 50, 70, 80 hours a week just to pay the bills so that I have somewhere to lay my head at night to get up and do it all again the next day. What I do here is far more like living. I mean, we all, we all work really hard making sure this actually works, the animals are looked after, and we can live simply ourselves. And it's very rewarding. <laughs> it's, a lot can be got from it. Cave living, I would recommend to anyone. So, yeah, guys, cave living. It's all become troglodytes. <laughs> What's your favorite part of your caravan? Uh, that I can just open the doors and it's part of the community area and everyone can come inside and yeah. Welcome to our caravan. What does living in a caravan mean to you? Uh, we love this place because in our childhood we had one favorite book about the caravan and a group of children having a lot of adventures with animals in their caravan and doing a lot of stuff around America. We are in Spain and our caravan can't go anywhere but we love this place because it's like living again our uh, childhood adventures, what we imagine and we really love this place it's because it's so cozy and we have like the kitchen is here, the washroom is here and everybody after dinner they can just come and sit uh, in front of our caravan so we love this place absolutely, it's perfect. how some of our volunteers live, you've seen some of their caves, you enjoyed a little bit of an insight, but I think it was probably only fair that I now show you where me and Edu live. So first you can see our beautiful view, we live right at the top, so we can see everything that's going on, and we live in this little caravan. Come on in. So this is our little old caravan and our dogs. And behind us we've got the loving living room area we thought we'd spend a lot of time in, we don't. It's actually where seven dogs sleep at night and I have to put the cushions up every single day. 
we really love our little caravan, but we don't actually spend any time in it. And if I turn you this side, you're going to see the mess. This is Edu's area. And behind us, this is our bedroom. And uh, here, little toilet that only I can fit in because it's so small. We've made a toilet out, squeeze it in, and one water in that comes into the sink, which goes into the toilet to save water. But it's so small, even only I can fit in like this. And yeah, this is where we sleep. Lovely views out the window, except the windows are so old, you can't see through them. This amazing picture here was from Harvey, one of our volunteers. At Christmas, we do like Secret Santa, but instead of buying things, we do it in a sustainable way. We have to make something. And he made me this. He drew a picture of Asla. So, welcome you to our caravan. I hope you enjoyed the tours of all of the, uh, well, not all of, some of the caves and the houses and the huts and see what you think. Let us know below, comment what you think if you'd like, hey Belu, if you'd like to stay in anything like this. We'd love to hear your comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Please sh share your love, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. See you next week. Bye.